In this video, I'm going to show you how to set different signatures for external or internal emails, for new messages versus replies, even how to set this signature to be visible when you're typing the message in Gmail, but also work when you're emailing from a phone or a tablet. So in here, I just made this signature and uh, I'm really happy with it but I only want this applied on external emails. All this extra marketing content, some of this extra uh, legal disclaimer content, I only need that on emails going to customers and suppliers. So in here, I'll go to signature rules, and I'm just gonna say that we'll apply this signature for messages sent to external recipients only and then I'll click OK. And I have this version of the signature that's cut down, it's very simple. In this one here, I'll go to signature rules and I'll say, apply the signature for messages sent only to internal recipients. All right, so colleagues will see this signature and then customers, suppliers will see this big full one. But then, I also want these bigger signatures to only apply on that first message in the conversation. And then I want this cut down simple one on those reply emails. So what I'll do is in the signature design, we're gonna pick some text that we know is in the email signature but won't appear in a normal sentence. So I couldn't put in something like the name of the company for example. I would want to maybe say, right, we'll grab part of this legal disclaimer. And if that text is in that email, we know that this signature is in the email trail. So I'll copy that. And out here, again, in signature rules, I'm going to say apply this signature except where the message contains that bit of text. So if that's already there, anywhere in the message thread, we know that signature is already there. So we don't add this one again. We'll add the next applicable signature instead. And then you might notice that I have another one after it. And that one also has a lot of content on there. I don't want that one on replies either. So we'll do the same thing with this one. Except where the message contains this bit of text. And again, we'll say add the next applicable signature instead. Now I could switch this option off and just have nothing on those reply emails, but I actually ready-made have this reply signature. You could do it either way. Same signature on every message, uh, a different one on replies, or maybe no signatures on replies. Now lastly, in signature rules, we actually have two tabs. In here, this server side G Suite section is how we apply the signature to emails as they go through the uh, Google infrastructure. So any email from any device, from a smartphone, a tablet, a Mac, a PC, anything, you get that nice high quality signature. This second option adds the signature directly into the Gmail client up in a web browser. The only advantage here is that you can see the signature while you're typing. If you're not interested in that side of it, you could only use the server side if you'd prefer. All right, so if I click OK, with that, these signatures are all set up. If I wanted to maybe just temporarily not use this signature until I'm ready, in here, if we go back into this tab, I could just say, don't apply the signature, switch it off for now. And we'll get this badge that says, well, it's disabled for the moment. But I could enable it again at any time. Perfect, we're ready to roll. Thanks for watching.